guys, welcome back once again. And this time we're going to talk about something that's interesting, but at the same time you say, I don't know if this is really going to work the way it's planned. So startup Titan Falcon Inc. announced this week it has completed the design of its Smart Ring, a new video game controller that the company thinks will change the way users play games forever. I really wish no one could use the word will change the way gamers play games forever because everybody does this uh, now these days. But uh, to make the ring a reality, uh, Titan formed in 2014 and is looking for its fan support for this thing. So in other words, the company is going to launch a crowdfunding campaign through Indiegogo later this month with a goal of $300,000. Now, Titanium is hoping to sell the smart ring for no less than $100. No more than $100, sorry. No more than $100, which would, in a sense, make it affordable for most people to buy, right? It's not insane. No more than $100 is not insanely expensive. So, I know what you're asking. If this is no more than $100, what makes this thing work? Well, it uses a Bluetooth low-energy technology and 9-axis motion control sensor. Uh, basically, this the Talon, as they're calling it. I uh, can connect to any smart device, phone, tablet, smart TV, uh, you know, smart watch, PC, Mac, and virtual reality headset. Uh, again, the ring basically converts the user's hand gestures to the appropriate input of the game and application. That's what Titanium says. Now, the Talon, which is no more than 3.8 millimeters thick, features two action buttons and should be compatible with games across a course variety of genres. Uh, now, they believe this thing could have major implications for gaming. Uh, and basically what the CEO said is this. Currently, in order to play motion control games, consumers must purchase all the expensive hardware, TVs, Wii, Xbox, and Kinect, just a few of them. We believe our touchless and motion-controlled smart ring will change the way users play games forever. Now, quickly let's talk about competition. Because Oculus VR uh, unveiled its own unusual controller for the Oculus Rift called Oculus Touch. Again, the company's making further investments in the virtual 3D hand tracking space. So they are working on something too. Now, we could talk about from the Kinect to the Wii to anything, we can go back to the Power Glove. There's been one number one problem with these devices like this. The, these devices cannot input as fast as a human body can move. Your hand, your face, whatever it's tracking. They never translate properly to the screen. That has been one of the biggest barriers with these devices. And will be the biggest barrier for this device also because I still do not believe this device will input as fast as you can move. None of them ever have. If you played any of them, you know that sometimes they don't track properly, they don't you know you're doing what you're doing really fast it can't go as fast as you can and secondly what is this going to do to improve your gaming experience ultimately what game is this going to make better for your gaming experience why in your mind you think this is kind of cool look at this hand tracking that's kind of cool but we've seen all these different devices you can go through sony's to microsoft how is this going to make your game better? And that's ultimately what this comes down to. And so far, none of these devices have made your game ultimately better. In a lot of ways, they've slowed down your game. That They make all these cool games, so hey, look, you're this wizard and you can do this stuff, but ultimately it is slower than you can move or do with a controller. That's the problem. Now, there are some cases, don't get me wrong. Wii Sports, for example, love the baseball and that. That was a lot of fun to do, which... Uh, do it that way, but all these devices are hinging on the hope of changing the way you play games, but in order for that to work, they still have to make it fun, and how does it make the experience better? Now, virtual reality, everybody sees how it could possibly make the experience better, but even that effect, it's not going to make, virtual reality is not going to make everything better. There are going to be certain games that, like anything else, don't work great on that platform. Every platform has this problem. If virtual reality was had a huge install base, right, let's say this, and this device was out after that, I could see, and, and work properly, because that's again, a big thing. We've seen PlayStation 3 controller with 6 axes, right? 
this thing has to do what it says it does, and until it proves it does, there's nothing to prove to you that it's going to work the way it's supposed to. Even virtuality, which is not out yet, right? We're still haven't really... It's got to work the way we think it's supposed to work, not the way they think it's supposed to work, right? This is where these devices have a problem. It has to work the way I'm sitting at home think it should work, and if it doesn't work that way, then that's where the problem lies. And again, tracking the human body has not really been done very well yet. Uh, where you physically do it and you can see it on the screen and go, yep, that's I move it as fast as that on the screen. And until that happens, I really don't know what game this is going to make better, to truthfully tell you the truth about it. I'm, I mean, it's a cool gimmick thing, cool thing to try one time with the friends over, but is it something you're going to use all the time? Are they going to reach your funding? That's the first question, which they probably will because, listen, to be honest, people who love new technology will go on and on this stuff. Uh, and, of course, their competition is, of course, Oculus. And is Oculus going to Because, again, this thing's got to get funded before it can ever be made. So we're not even at that point yet. We're looking long-term for this. But what do you think about this hand-tracking from Titanium uh, called the Talon? Would you be interested in something like this, the smart room controller? Or are you just like, you know what, I, I, a regular controller is fine, I don't need this. Or do they have to show you a game and a reason why to use this? Anyway, love to hear your guys' opinions like always, and I'll make another video soon. Later, guys.